Press conference. Sorry I'm late for the press conference, but they're gonna eat this up. Demigreen? A weapons manufacturing company with an environmental agenda? Ecologically sound warfare? Yeah, I think I'm gonna be fine. I still have three minutes. I was at the lab all night doing research. I had a breakthrough with the turtles. To continue. Well, as you know, the turtles I bred last spring with the injection have grown shells made of a mixed DSM Dyneema fiber blend. Those fibers are 15 times stronger than the highest quality steel. Usually we would only use the fibers in our body armors and vehicle fortification systems. But using the fibers in the turtle shell has presented to us the perfect propulsion ratios we needed to use the oxygen as the fueling agent in the IBTs, aka improvised ballistic terrapins. Basically, the holes where the head, tail, and legs come out create jet streams for the explosion to cause remarkable demolition with a green aftertaste. Fantastic mind, but you ignore the simplest of things. Sir, I I'm sorry, but I don't understand. St. Martin's Elementary School was home to the 1st through 8th grades of Salem County. This morning at 8.03 a.m., the St. Martin's Elementary School ceased to exist? A bomb apparently went off after the beginning of first period. This, this resulted in the deaths of all 287 students and 41 faculty. No details are certain to the origin of this bombing, but it does not appear to be intentional. The strongest suspect is, of course, the recently established Demogreen Laboratory that opened only three months ago, two blocks from St. Martin's. This weapons manufacturing agency declares itself a savior of the environment and a safer and cleaner means of warfare. If what happened at St. Martin's this morning was caused by the Demogreen company, they will be held responsible on all accounts, including the murders of 328 people. This was the reply from the governor this morning after he was relayed the news two minutes after the explosion. He continued to state they will be shut down immediately and prosecuted to the fullest extent of the law. The most intriguing piece of evidence found at the site was discovered by firefighters who doused the flames only in time to see no resemblance of what once was a school. It is what appears to be a ballistic shell with a demogreen logo and serial number. This is speculation, of course, because it is charred very much and seems to actually be a turtle shell, not a bomb. A press conference was scheduled for today at 10 a.m. in the Demogreen headquarters for promotions and donations to be given to this new enterprise. However, the conference is sure to take a different turn after the events that occurred this morning at St. Martin's. Further investigations as to the nature and origin of this explosion is to be carried out immediately. Our condolences go out to all those who lost loved ones in this tragedy. And whoever is responsible for this be warned, justice is on its swift way. You go on in 30 seconds. Welcome to the conference, everyone. We are very excited to be sharing our vision and values with you today. Demigreen is more than a company. It is a mindset. Hopefully after today, all of you will see that we provide a means for ecologically sound warfare using only organic materials. 
I will now open the floor for questions. Sir, what's your real agenda? So agenda? What are your comments on the accusations that Demogreen was involved in the bombing this morning at St. Martin's Elementary School? And also, how do you explain the Demogreen insignia and serial code found on the shell at the site? Demogreen was definitely not related to that incident. That is a lie. No one buys it. Liar. Liar. Sir, why a Sir, Demogreen is most definitely tied to the bombing. Your logo was on a ballistic shell found in the rubble. What do you have to say? Do you think this. using live turtles as weapons is moral? What is your real <coughs> agenda? Explain this. This morning's events were tragic. Or were they? Demi Green would like to formally state that this morning's bombing was a blessing in disguise. That is the worst idea. In a lifetime, an average American will throw away 600 times their weight in garbage, minus these 328. Every year, Americans use more than 1,100 gallons of fuel, minus these 328. These brave and legendary 328 heroes will not contribute to next year's use of more than 25 billion polystyrene foam cups. And on a final note, where once was concrete and asphalt, there is now a beautiful meadow. That is all. Do you think using live turtles as weapons is moral? That is the worst idea I've ever heard of.